Bailey chip across. That's for Will Buck to get to. He does. Good. Getting through. Now he needs some help, Bailey. So quick to accelerate. Slices through the middle. That's a beauty, that is, for Majoma. That is absolute beauty. I've actually got quite a few seats. It's actually quite crazy. Get me playing, mate. It's actually quite weird being here with it, you know, empty. So weird. I always come kick, well, not always, I sometimes come kick here the day before the game and it's... It seems, when there's people here, I know, funnily enough, but it seems a lot bigger than it is. Yeah, I was thinking that when we were up there. Yeah. When Hall scored in the corner, yeah. and it's like, you turn around, you're, oh, <laughs> you're flipping gas and it's like, you've got all your mates in the front seats. Yeah. Isn't it? I started off at Dawson Wilkes County and then I remember hearing there's this, this new fly half coming through from the year below us that's you know, proper good. I was playing eight at the time. I'm like, oh yeah, no chance. And then um, play a couple of games together, chemistry grows, that little eight ten partnership. Yeah. And off then, the back of the scrums and stuff at that point. <laughs> exactly. So and then, Max had a scrum cap and a you know, crazy footwork for number eight. But um, Skinny then as well. So I don't think you were probably ever actually an eight. Um, I think it's just you know a position where you get your hands on the ball a bit, so it was, was good for the team in that sense. I think your uh, your hands were probably wasted in the scrum. Yeah. So um, <laughs> at the time, the under 14s were only doing training, and it was DPP, which has got like a great program, but there's a lot of players in it at that stage. And um, credit to Chris Smith, who was at Sherborne at the time, um, and he worked in the program, and he he sort of said, "Do you want to have a trial game for Dawson Wills?" Um, and I think it was like the next, you know, the next week or something. And I, I think at that stage they just mixed up the teams we played against each other. And I, I think the only thing I did in the game was put one big tackle in. I think that, that was for a fly half to put a big tackle yeah. in. It was like, okay, you know, this guy's all right. Yeah, like, not a, at least he's not going to be a little try and shirk, you know, shirk away. So that was probably for me. I was like, keep my head down. And... Probably our chemistry began at Harrow tournament uh, under 15, yeah. where you were still playing eight. I still playing eight, but. We scored a nice try where I think it went Max to me, back to Max, back to me. And then, yeah, when did you move to 12? So, what, what was like season with that? Going what did we have in that season? Uh, Wellington. Wellington, that was it, yeah. I remember we had a long chat. We went on like a walk because it was quite at Wellington, you're on campus, you know, on site for a week or so. And we went for a walk with a ball and had a quite a long chat about, you know, our ambitions. And uh, I still remember it to this day talking about passing and kicking and. Uh, like the basic skills you need, and they were like, oh, we'll keep pushing each other. Like, uh, we, I remember we spent about four, an hour probably just passing uh, in one of like, it was quite a fancy school in like one of the courtyards there, chatting, and we were like, probably just like, from then on, probably talk to each other about rugby a bit. And Yeah. yeah. It's good though, it's good. It's, you've got that good balance, because like, it's not like we're at each other's throats outside of the club all the time. Like it's actually quite nice just coming into work. I know we've got this partnership. We don't need to be talking about code 24 seven. Mm. It's just like, it's almost quite refreshing coming into work. Oh, we had a great well, yeah, time at under yeah. 18s, yeah. We, was, um, um, my 18s year, this 17s year, you had like, Nahum, War Boys, you and John Stu, all those people coming well. through. We had such a good year group. We're training together, you know, a cold Monday night. It just builds that chemistry and then, you know, it was one of the, it may have been one of Bath's best under 18 years. We got to the um, third place payoff that year and won it. In that year group, we, yeah. we had to get four tries against London Irish to go through to the final. We needed a, a, a point uh, and then we would have uh, leaped Frog Gloucester because they lost. And <laughs> we had a maul. It was in the first half, to be fair. It's not like it was the last yeah, play. Yeah, it wasn't to win. <laughs> but it was, uh, we had a maul and uh, Max joined from 12. Uh, probably uh, got the ball because he yeah. wanted to score. Yeah, Lewis had told uh, me explicitly, <laughs> don't take the ball off the first day. And uh, yeah, we're five metres out and he thinks it's the try line. So it drops, pancakes to the floor, starts celebrating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's on the floor, it's on the floor. <laughs> and it was the five metre line oh, and not yeah. the try line. So I still hear about it to this day. We got three tries in the end and one, but so yeah, it was funny, but um, yeah, it wasn't like yeah. it's was the last play of the game and stuff. We don't talk about it too much now. <laughs> oh, and then Bailey getting away beautifully, and now a Jomo is looking for some support. How about that for a pass? That is sumptuous. I 
I've said in like a couple of interviews that we've played together so many times now that it's almost like if I if I don't have Landy at 10 or I'm sure I'd hope if he doesn't have me at 12 we're, we're probably not playing as well um, just because that that telepathic connection you you know almost it definitely makes you a better player. You know what each other need information wise and, and what they might be seeing and um, I think first of all for both of us it's probably about seeing where we can try and take the team here and like be, and both try and be at, at, a cent at the centre of it um, that you know trying to stay in the match 23 each week and then turn some results around and, and then when you're doing well as a team then obviously you play better rugby individually and um, you know you, know, you don't know what could happen after that. So.